All right, so I'm going to try to hold my camera sideways. Tell me if you see this full screen now and you didn't before because it's showing it full screen on my phone, but I guess for some people it's not. I don't know. This is for you, Josh. Mr. Goat Skin Dreams. Love it. So you might be wondering why I'm in this funky lighter. I might even be in the dark. I don't fucking know. But all I know is I'm usually doing shit in the dark because I fucking work for a living. Slackers. Regardless, today, tonight, I'm getting started on, um, I'm switching out head units. All right, here's what I got going on. All right, you see this piece of shit? This is in my S10. That piece of shit is going away. So, uh, I got to figure out how I'm going to pull this out. And then uh, hold on here shortly, and I'll show you what's going to go in its place. Alrighty, so there's good shit and bad shit. Good shit is I have it out. Alright. Got her out. They had it in there good. How it was supposed to be. The bad deal is... I don't know what's going on under here. I don't know. If, it feels like they actually used butt connectors. But I don't know. Also, the head unit does not turn itself off. So that kept running down the battery uh, when I first got this vehicle. And I didn't know what was going on. And I found out, oh, the head unit doesn't shut off. Yeah. So there's some cluster fucking going on in here. Also, oh, to get this dash out, all right, not a big deal. They normally just pop all out. This all just pops off. So I was doing some popping. And these little clips down here they you can't see them but they hold shit in that's the you know what that is for the antenna i was getting snagged up down here so i took a couple screws out took a screw out up under there and then i got a little violent with it thinking it was just being tight and realized i broke that and uh yeah i broke that one too so, <laughs> I also found out that's cracked there, and that's cracked there. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. I might just throw it all back together and see, but right now i got to get this Pioneer out of my Civic. That's going to take the spot of this guy. And i got to look at my wire, where I'm going to run my wires and all that, because I'm not putting it all in there without remotes and remote wire rcas and all that fun stuff because you know what i'm going to do <clears throat> now those pictures i just showed you I hope I got them added to this video maker deal that I got on my phone here. Um, as I figured, the wiring was pretty fucked up. Um, it's just electrical tape. Wires twisted together with electrical tape twisted around them. And then more electrical tape. That's just beautiful. Uh, the other picture I put up is how I do wiring. Now, my wiring, I don't do heat shrink. I don't solder. I just use butt connectors, uh, try to use zip ties, try to just keep it clean, simple. That's just how I do it. Maybe not the right way. I guarantee there's a hundred thousand people out there that are like, that's not the right fucking way. You didn't heat shrink. Soldering is the best. Blah, blah, blah. Suck on big fat one. Whatever. But uh, anyway, so that's done. Check this head unit out. I love this thing. This right here is my Pioneer. This was in my Civic. This is the, where's my model? It's usually on here somewhere. MVHS30 IBT. Bluetooth. Notice how small. Yeah. No CDs. 
This guy has uh, Bluetooth mainly. That's what it's made for. Also, it has USB there, auxiliary, uh, you know, yada yada. So that's what's going in my truck because I love using Bluetooth. I have Spotify and I just love it. So then I'm thinking, I'm like, holy crap, you know, if I'm going to put this head unit in, I got to get it ready for other audio. And thank God I have audio every motherfucking where. So I did a little digging. I've got uh, Stinger, Stinger, Stinger. Stinger's my favorite RCA. It always has been. Uh, got my Stinger RCAs for um, my uh, amplifier, which you will see later. Oh, man, I can't remember what series these are. I don't know. Can't remember what series those are for some reason. I uh, this is my six thousand series. I think those are the nine thousand series. I think these are six. Uh, regardless, these are going back to my mid amplifier, and then I have my splitters that are going to go into my four channel because I don't have enough RCAs coming off the back of that head unit. And then I believe these are I don't know four thousand series something like that. These are actually going to come off, go to my base knob, which is going to be an LC one. And then go to those guys. So I got remote wires. Got me a little care package my buddy hooked me up with a little while back. That's just got some miscellaneous stuff. Has an LC1 in it and all that. That's going in there. Speaker wire. Yeah, yada yada. You'll see everything else. Lithium batteries going in. Boop, sitting up there and never even been used. So, yeah, it's nighttime. Again, I got to get this head unit in. This is another night and looks like i thought i had some weird smag on there uh regardless it's uh been a couple nights now i gotta go out here in the dark and put this head unit in and get these few wires ran through and hooked up before i go to stoney's tomorrow my right hand man who does my installs with me because he's awesome like that so yeah y'all i forgot also real quick before i hide this all you don't see it this is how i do I'm not done with this. This is how I do my uh, wiring harnesses in most of my vehicles. I got to cut that and tape and all that. I only hook up four things. Power, ground, and my constant there in the middle. And then my subwoofer. That's all that gets hooked up. Everything else, I just kind of uh, butt connector off. I've cut this because it was hooked into my... Civic, which I did use my factory speakers, but I'm not going to use any factory speakers. I will have new speaker wire running to all of it from my amplifier, so that's how I do mine. I just got to pretty this up more, put some more uh, zip ties, electrical tape, make sure, make sure everything's safe, doesn't short out, and all that fun stuff. So now you know that. All right, folks. So my wires ran. Um. One is for my sub, one is for my mids, and then I have my remote wire directly hooked in. I always electrical tape over everything. These are all butt connected and all that underneath there, but just safely and keep everything tight and all together so nothing gets pulled apart under there. And then I'm going to hook into there, plug in the old wiring harness there, and that wiring harness there, and then I got this stupid antenna, which... I will probably hardly ever, ever use, but I'll plug it in anyway. Look at it. Look at it. Shit. So last night in the dark and cold, I get it all put in there. And I just wanted to make sure it would work, and it's not turning on. Why, I don't know. I might have to run on a separate ground. For this head unit, I don't know. But all I do know is I must get this snapped together and load up a bunch of uh, wires and amplifiers and all that stuff and head to Stoney's and uh, figure this shit out later. So all I can say is stay tuned if you want to see a bunch of shit installed in this extreme S10. You guys have an awesome day or night or hell who knows what it is if you're like me could be nighttime there yeah anyway i love you